Welcome back everyone for the next part of Limbus Company. In the last part, we had a little encounter with the healing ampoules, the decayed healing ampoules, in which case uh, Ishmael kind of melted. Yeah, it was really pretty. And right after that, we met up with the Rosepan Fixers and Trina and headed downwards into the mouth of a lion. Technically speaking, because they already kind of booby trapped the whole place, probably, right? Yeah, they probably prepared a bunch of traps along the way. Can't wait to see what happens next, because let's be serious, we're not going to miss a single one of them. We're going to run into every single trap along the way. And it's not going to be pretty. But it is how it is, right? It is how it is. Wait, they increase the level again. It's really not enough. Huh. That's gonna cost a lot of XP coupons. Oh no. Uh, let's not worry about that. Let's not worry about that just yet. Technology Liberation Alliance. In the branch facility, we ran into the same machinery that we saw at K Corp, instead of the terrorists, of course. For some reason, these machines are playing a strange voice that causes us worlds when we destroy them, in order to lure us closer, in order to explode into our faces. Let's hope the next couple of times they're not going to approach them that carelessly. We're going to start off right with a fight, I see. But there was a book on this page, right? I'm pretty sure that there was a book around. Let me just quickly finish this one off. So, okay. Not so bad, not so bad. But I guess around here they have uh, more of those upgraded versions around. At the very least, the second round had all the complete versions of those machines around instead of the scrapyard versions they previously used. Nevertheless, uh, where was I? Will this blow up once it stops working like the last one? Probably. As we suspected, the whole machine began to play an ominous noise. Alright, so this is the second time you killed my machines, right? Let's see... You're a bunch of roaches that do nothing other than they just crawl on the floor! Wow, it's okay, it's okay. Don't let it, don't let you down, Greg. I... I wasn't feeling anything. <laughs> so, go on and keep crawling like the bucks you are. Why bother looking up when you're so spending all your times looking at that flat dimension of the surface? Am I right? Wait, is that a warning? Should I look up? Ah, I understand now. Once the machines stop functioning, they play a pre-recorded voice clip. It explodes seconds after. It is unclear what purpose they are meant to serve, but all the machines are equipped with the same mechanism. Pre-recorded? I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Everyone makes fun of you, eh? Bucky Block? It sure is baffling how the whole world is bent over backwards to mock me. <laughs> That's a tame reaction. Hmm? Oi, what's wrong with you now? What's the matter, Ishmael? Are you alright? Yes, I'm just feeling a little queasy. You don't have to mind me. I'm fine now. There's something I've been meaning to ask. What kind of organization is this? Technology Liberation Alliance. Why do you bother asking such a question now? All we need to know about them is that it is a terrorist organization with a hollow name. Their values are irrelevant to us. <laughs> you never know what used information might have out us. True. I know little about them myself. I did hear that someone who used to work in the K Corp laboratory is now one of the organization's core members. Though I don't have the details as this took place before I joined the firm. She was an outstanding researcher who was once awarded the best employee award, much like Mr. Dong Rang is now. She was? What? How do you know that? I saw her name on one of the plagues on the trophy's room. Wouldn't you say it's mandatory for someone of my occupation to remember all the names there are? A secretary and all? 
Why do you keep peeking in there anyways? What could be the reason a highly praised employee decides to join the terrorist group? Huh. I believe you saw her earlier. She was enthusiastically destroying my lab. Wait, was it the lift girl? Really? Right around when Sheena and I joined the company, she was, well, rather famous within the firm. I heard rumors that she had wanted to test the limits of K-Cop's technology. Then, one day, rumors about her leaving the laboratory had spread, saying that this is where she ended up. And now she wants to get back to her previous workplace because... She wants to free the technology that she has left behind? Is that the reason? Previous best employee. Okay. According to Sanjo, one of the Technology Liberation Alliance member is a former K-Corp laboratory worker. What does the organization build these machines for then? And why do they attack and terrorize K-Corp's lab? Yeah, I would really like to know that as well. But hey, if we're lucky, we might run into her, and then she has all the times in the world, before we kill her, to explain what actually happened around here. <laughs> ah, this corridor must be the last of them. Once we pass here, we will reach the edge of the facility. After I retrieve my precious item from there, I give you the ownership of the Golden Barrow, as promised. Great! Feels like this is gonna end up on a rotten note. You're gonna be okay with that, right? Those terrorists really must have run off seeing how none of them showed up. It was part of the contract to reclaim the laboratory. Mm -hmm. That is why I keep telling you, Mr. Dongring. When you draft a contract, you must have been meticulous and calculative and write in in a way that favors us. But he wrote the contract and he didn't want it to change anything. Thanks for having the favor on our side. Now then. Let's get going. Fortunately, I didn't see any killing machines here. However, a couple of unwelcome figures appeared in front of us. Be on guard, executive manager. Someone is ahead of us. Yeah, but they aren't holding any weapons. They may be unarmed, but you are an incredibly weak and fragile civilian, executive manager. Um, thanks, Hortus? Was that supposed to be compliment? <laughs> Can't you count? You're clearly outnumbered by a huge margin, so don't be a baby. Here at last, huh, Worms? It's the same voice that played from the machines, and it's the same face that we saw earlier as well. Where's your other member, senior researcher Ren? Ren, huh? Uh, you managed to bring more help in that mess, I see. And put away that senior crap. We haven't even known each other for that long, now have we? Don't you see what's going on? They've all evacuated. And here I am. Buying time for them. That's interesting. We thought we stormed in unexpectedly. Yet you knew in advance we escaped? Cause you're worms. Look at you, getting all cocky after receiving the best employee rewards. Raiding here, daring trying to catch us and all. You've got a big mouth. You think you're better than us? You are outnumbered, like you said. That knocking of yours probably knows you better surrender, huh? Let's say I do. It's clear what you will do with me. You'll neutralize me and keep me barely alive. Curing me with your flaunty regenerative amples. Rinse and repeat until you get the answer that you want. Sounds like a problem that can prevent it by giving us the answer right away. Am I asking for too much? Of course you are, unlike you. We aren't planning to live like roaches that feed on whatever's provided from above. Oh, this is really getting on my nerves. <laughs> I always the roaches and worms. Yeah, but whatever. I had enough of toying with you. What are you trying to do? That's right. Show your curiosity only to what's happening immediately before your eyes. That is how a researcher should be. Ran. With an ear-pinching noise, the building was engulfed in the explosion. All that remains is sharded stains. What? Oh, that hurts a lot. Are you right, Mr. Dongreng? 
And fine, someone in Dante's party pushed me away as soon as the blast was heard. You know, the quiet fella with the intimidating eyes, Sinclair? I was going to do the same, but I was standing too far away. Phew, that was close. After taking the impact for others, Don Giofolme and sword had been flung all the way to the column supporting the buildings, their backbones fully exposed so it was Don and Masol who took the blast. Don, in particular, was impaled on a pillar. It must be fate that if we come back to life at any time that prompts them to jump into danger without hesitation. Not out of any sort of friendship or affinity, isn't that right? Don couldn't give any answer. Where'd I do her to that, or the pointy edge stabbing through her mouth? Oh, Basalt, are you alright? Basalt, you are alive? Muscle protects. <laughs> the muscles protected him, Dante. The muscles are like an iron shell, right? <laughs> totally. <laughs> it was my directive to protect the manager and see that the company's mission is accomplished. That must be it. Yes. How convenient. You can recover your body without using regenerative amples. Is it really that convenient? I don't know. The ample looks handier in my eyes. Right, it's Miss Shireen, alright. And the other fixers. We are perfectly sound. Your group blocked the blast for us, so we turned out to be fine. That's why you haven't taken the amples. That clock has special powers. Indeed, after all, I recruited him after thoroughly scanning and testing. Or rather, screening and testing. I see, well done. All the armholes that I brought are useless now. For some reason, Shireen let out a defeated laugh and drops the ample in her back to the floor. Why are you dropping them? Aren't they expensive? It's true for them, looking at it from a perspective they excluded me. This is certainly a convenient power. Faded consequences can be reversed. And the only prize is me having to bear the pain. No, wait. Is this really fine? And where does this all this time to rhyme from come from? Clockface, stop twaddling about. The yellow haired lass is dying. Fully ravaged by the blast, he cliff points at dawn. Hurry up and turn it. This hurts an awful lot. On it. Alright, we still have to defeat a couple of machines. I guess even them were able to survive the blast. Okay, Don! Are you alright? Seems to be alright. Ah, so many robots. So, so many robots. At the very least, we don't really have to worry about the sanity, right? At the very least, we have that. But at the same time, I cannot count uh, on the minor sanity either, so there is a downside to the fixed zero stat, but it's still alright. It's still alright. Now, uh, seems like that this is another chapter with a normal fight. We met Ren, who apparently used to work for the K-Corp laboratory. Before we could properly talk with her, she vanishes forever, leaving the mysterious words behind. And Jereen looks Desponded for whatever reason. Desponded? I don't know that word, but it will be fine. It will be fine. I should Google that when I have the time <laughs> at a later point. Okay, more scrapyards. Let's take care of them really quickly. Okay, it's getting a bit close. This is the last round. If this is not enough to finish all of them off, then we're going to have a big, big problem around here. I'm out of armor, but I can't do anything about it. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Good hit. That one is defeated. One. Oh, that was close. That was way too close for my liking. Three row turns are really, really bad for this team. Oh, but we still got it. It's good. We still got it. <laughs> oh, hey, Ryoshu. That's real. You got the MVP status. 
But that was earned. That was well earned. Please don't be free rose again. Please. <laughs> the stress. The stress is not good for me. The stress is seriously not good for me. I'm gonna look right here. Right here. Come on. Freaking hell. <laughs> no. They are really tanky. They are really, really tanky. I don't like this at all. Oh my god. Please stop it with the three turn ones. Ten turns is not... Well, it's barely enough, but I would prefer to have a bit of a puffer time, you know? So that it isn't getting that close. If it took one more turn, I would have failed the X mission again. Freaking hell! <laughs> it's so close. What? Traitor? Glaring at Shirini, Ota stops on the way, having made some kind of conclusion. I couldn't begin to guess what it could be, so I decided to stay and listen. Well, uh... I guess she found a traitor? Otis? I mean, the title already said traitor. She must have found a traitor, right? Oh, Shirini, you've gotten sharper wounds. Are you sure you don't want to use an ample? I'm fine. The Jarini fella. She is looking kind of blank faced. Is she okay? Blank faced. <laughs> of course not. She couldn't be so carefree. Hmm. This makes it evident. The terrorist long the terrorist longs its made their leave. All that's left were bloodthirsty murderers, hell-bent on killing us. I've made my judgement. Hey, what do you think? Otis nudged her head at Mersault. I agree with it. Wh what are you two talking about? There's a traitor in our ranks. No doubt remains in the matter. It's thanks to the spy that our course and plan were leaked from the moment we departed. To prevent further damage, it is right to dispose of them, here and now. Traitor? I blankly watched as he brought up the concept, foreign to me. As it is unlikely to be one of us, the rational course of action is to suspect your institute's lackeys. This mission must be abandoned, executive manager, to allow ourselves to be involved in this nonsense. I am repulsed by accusation. Are you seriously suspecting us? I can assure you that we trust each other better than you people who haven't even been in the same firm for a year. Sancho argued, flashes of light furiously bounces off his glasses. No, Sancho. The hypothesis sounds plausible. I would say the same. Oh. You have something to say, don't you? Mr. Dong Rang. That group of fixer haven't used regenerative amples a single time since we came in here. Any sane combatant would care to have those. There's one more thing. When we encountered Ren, they were distancing themselves from her in advance. The only explanation is that they knew there would be an explosion. Oh, border? Why not consider the possibility that my intuition is just that keen? Well, if it is, you could have warned us, right? You could have warned us. What if we weren't using the amples because these bodies and I are built healthy? I've brought a true tablet just in case. I believe you if you testify the same after taking it. True tablet? Oh, the red thing. How can I take that suspicious looking truck? Sorry, did you have a choice here? How strange, if I were you I would have just taken the tablet or make more desperate excuses. You're so gladly squandering your chances to clear yourself of suspicion. It's almost like you're asking to be killed. Or did you decide to kill us all and get away with it? I thought a researcher's job was to write papers. And you're out here writing fictions? You deranged maniacs? Nico grinds her weapon and points it at us. Hey! Are you showing your true selves now that you're cornered, huh? I even taught you my secrets of winning a slot machine. And this is how you return the favor? Well, to be fair, 
They never wanted to get us out of here, so sharing a couple of secrets here and there doesn't really matter as long as we aren't able to spread them any further. Now, let me have a little peek. Shaking Rose Banner, Workshop Fixer. So, they have a combination of Tremor and Rupture on pretty much all of their skills. If coin 1 and 2 lands on head, inflict Tremor, but it targets Tremor. So, they have a bunch of extra Tremor on top of this. Okay, and the passives? They don't have the passives, is that it? None of them? Seems like it. I guess this guy is all about Tremor and the other group is a mixture of Tremor and Rapture. Great. Only four of them around? How many? Okay. I was about to say, if this was three waves as well... Oh! <laughs> that would have been the worst! Literally the worst! <laughs> At least give me some room to take a break around here, right? After all those machines and fights? Oh no, Hongdu. Hongdu is having difficulties over there. Not entirely sure how, how much that hurts him, but it seems to be fine. He wasn't he wasn't uh, staggered at least. This one is disastrous. It can work. 12, 15, and... Your sanity isn't high enough for overbreath yet. I mean, I could risk it. Oh, come on. Oh, no. No. No! Oh, oh my god, Hong Nu, you got rid of a couple of dice! <laughs> but still, that was supposed to be Rampage! Why were you so unlucky? Come on! <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, it's fine. The defense skill is keeping her safe. Uh, 10, 11 should work out nicely. It's unlikely, but it could work. It's still 12. I could risk it, but the chances are not really that high. I guess we're just going to give it a try. You're already staggered. I'm going to go for the kill. And I wish I could target the other one. I would love to get rid of a stagger. But I guess it's not going to go that way. Right? It's not going to go that way. Okay, we were lucky with overbreath. It's a good job done. Come on. Oh no! She was so lucky for two turns at least. I ran two clashes. And this is certainly going to be enough for a stagger, right? Yes, okay, we got the stagger and the fragile. That's good. That is good. Let's go for shove. Ooh, Hanglu, you can forget about that one. 13, 13, that's good enough. Get your breath. Double green, and I guess a little bit of dark blue is fine as well. Come on, guys. Come on. It's just a couple of rose spanners. You already know how they fight. We have Mersault as the perfect example. Well, maybe he doesn't really use Rapture, but still, technically speaking, it's the same facility. We know how Rose Spanner fights, right? Oh, I need to guard again. Suppress. That's gonna work. Hopefully, I don't waste the purple and red dice, but you can see. Come on, guys. Ooh! Rodeon! It got a bit too close for my liking. Usually, the suppress is always very reliable, but I guess it got hit during the last turn that I didn't notice. And would you look at that! Rose Banner Workshop Representative Nico! Ah! Okay. Tremor, Paralysis, more Tremor. Paralysis with Tremor. Oh, she's really strong. 2, 6, 12, 11, 9, 12, 14. And if she protects, it's going to heal her SP and gain protection. I kind of wish I had that ability. You have a passive? Gain resonance by the numbers of head coins that successfully hit during a turn. Maximum of 10. 
When bursting tremor or raising stagger threshold, deal 3 fixed damage per coin and further raise the stagger threshold by 3% per coin. Oh, okay. Inflict more tremor by the numbers of allies that have died this way. So she's going to get stronger the more people I kill. But I can't really redirect my attacks, so uh, that will happen. I can't really do anything about that one. When alone, gain resonance and tremor synchronization every turn. In clash, the opponent has minus one clash power for every tremor they have. And I've got no choice. When alone, marks the last unit that attacks this character as a target for the next turn. Okay. Doesn't really seem to be that bad. Let's go for this one right away. 13 has to work. Let's add some burn into the mix as well. Doesn't make a difference. Have to go for the green. I'm going to apply some pleat as well. Not entirely sure if this one is going to get through. She has more defenses than I. But I guess we will see, huh? Yeah, we will see. The purple, let's go. Come on. I, at the very least, I need to bleed. At the very least, I need to bleed. Rodion is already starting off nicely. Ego right away. It's good. I kind of wish I had a bigger green resonance for this ego, but yeah, I can't really risk it. I mean, I did have the options of getting a long green line, but the enemies, they are just way too many enemies. I have too many clashes. Maybe next time I have a better chance for that. Okay. Now a bit of burn. At the very least, there's one very good thing about this fight. Since they are no longer robots, I can actively use the sanity against them now, right? Yeah, I can actively use the sanity against them. I can lower their, their chances of winning. This is good! With the fixed sanity, it was always a coin toss in order to see if I actually get lucky this time around. <laughs> right? And usually speaking, that never was the case! So yeah, I'm really happy about that one! Uh, should I... should I... Ooh, I could get rid of Tremor, but it doesn't really have any. My sanity currently is at 40. I guess I could do it in the next round. How many bullets do we have? Eight. Okay, then I'm just going to give her some tremor. A little bit of green. A little bit of red. Is blue coming? Yes, blue is coming. So I guess we're going to try for going first. Press, of course, of course, and defense down, please. Okay, yeah, the sanity is already working. Perfect job, guys. Perfect job. Okay, down to 26 and dead. But then again, it seems like they're kind of running off instead of dying. Maybe we're going to have another round against them. Maybe. I mean, it's pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that they have more allies waiting for us. And technically speaking, they do have a supply of HP bullets, right? They do have a supply of HP bullets around here. They could just fall back in order to use them now. <laughs> but then again, their chef is left behind. They literally leave behind their chef. She is totally low on moral and sanity. Now technically speaking, she shouldn't be able to run from this fight now. Right? She shouldn't be able to run from this. But she is! She actually dashed away! Why did you guys allow her to dash away? <laughs> oh well. Oh, Rodion! That's rare! You actually became the MVP for once? Mission objective all match. Returning to base now. Rodion out! Good job, my girl! Good job! Okay. Trader part two. Yeah, they're, they're certainly going to heal. They are 100% going to heal. 
They saved the healing bullets all for the sake, probably. Order Simba Salt claimed that there's a traitor in our group. Nico from the Rose Banner workshop denied the accusation, but the suspicion wasn't without reasons. The Sinner were now confronting the people they were talking with mere moments ago. The one is an outsider turning against us, but it made me wonder for how long our bond could last. True. It's a fragile bond, we recently met each other. I'm kind of surprised how quickly we had to turn against each other. But it has to be this way, I mean, I mean, if there's a traitor around, we have to handle him before we actually get let into an actual trap, right? Now, Nico, I'm really sorry about that, but at the very least, you're not dead just yet, right? <sighs> Give me a second. I think we need to call a timeout. Might be the sandwiches that I ate this morning. My stomach is aching. Boss! No such thing. Sink us up next. Shireen! She what? Shireen told us something. We were in here. Don't ever use the regenerative ampoules, no matter what. She did? <sighs> Saying that out loud is breaching the contract, you dolt. That's so. Shireen told you that? Why? I don't know. She said we would see in due time. Well, we have a simple way to find out. Now don't we? After fiddling with a regenerative ampoule in the sand, Dong Ring made a sudden move. He quickly jabbed the ampoule into the unguarded fixer's body like a dagger. Ugh. The fixer tried to remove the ampoule, but its content has already entered the system. Huh? Why do you look so surprised, boss? What happens if the ampoule is injected? Huh? This is weird. The fixer's limb began to twist in a strange angle. What? Then some things started protruding through the flesh. Collapsed on the floor, the fixer tried to yell something but failed to make any sound. What? Is it just me or is this awfully familiar? Please, you don't really think you're the only one who remembers it back then. Now do you, Greg, baby? Resembling lavas and snails? Huh? Oh dear. Let's stop here. I dragged too many people into this. Well, it was my decision to take the deal for the money. Remy, me, I should have gone to a bigger spree yesterday if I knew it would come to this. Be fighting again? And what do you mean lava? Snail? Is that the reason why she called us worms so many times during the recordings? Did she knew that we would turn into worms? Oh my freaking god, then that must have been a surprise near the end when she saw all of us in perfect healthy condition, huh? <laughs> she missed- Shireen must have missed with our ampoules or something like that. Freaking hell. Freaking hell. Um, but seeing how this is literally the same group of guys once again, I'm just going to quickly speed ahead, uh, speed ahead to the second wave again. I'm just going to assume that Nico is going to be in the second wave again, and let's be serious. The little guys, they won't be able to do anything special against us, right? Certainly not. Okay, never mind. I guess she's not around because she's already kind of heard from the last round. Huh. Good to see, right? Good to see. There we go. Not so bad. Okay, who's going to be the MVP this time around? Probably Ishmael again, or maybe Rodion. Uh, oh, oh, it was Hong Lu this time around. Good job, Hong Lu. Now, another. F How many of them did we brought along? Kind of seems like we brought along a quite a quite a group, huh? Trader free. It was revealed that Shireen and Rosebank work office when Kafu with the enemies. Before we could ask for the reason, one of the fixers melted down after being forcefully injected with a regenerative ampoule. Wasn't it supposed to heal the body? For now, we have Nico and the remaining fixers to deal with. 
Okay, but she's probably not going to be in this one either, right? Because uh, there's no cutscene in this one, and I'm pretty sure if Nico dies, she's going to have something to say about it, right? Oh my god, he almost looked like the sword. But only almost. But at the very least, he's already confident. <laughs> at least he's confident. There we go. Another victory, and just as he expected, Nico wasn't around. I guess she's really waiting for the next book encounter, huh? I mean, if she's going to die, she has to she has to have a dead quote. Something like a dead quote, right? She has to have. My god, how many rose finger I don't even have that much energy! What? Oh come on! Nico! You're not hiding behind my energy supplies, right? You wouldn't do such a thing! That is dishonorous! Very dishonorous! <laughs> Come on, Nico! Okay, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Is there a book? There's no book! She's literally hiding behind a wall of energy points! Nico, what are you doing to me? I need to wait for seven points and then another twenty. Oh, that's more than two hours! Two hours! <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, all the energy in the world, from my XP bar, you can probably already see, yeah, it hasn't been, uh, it hasn't been a couple of hours, it's actually been around maybe three, two days, yeah, pretty much did all of my mirror dungeons, did a couple of my daily missions as well, my models has increased a little bit, lunacy is back to 18k, ah, I love it. But yeah, I got a bit distracted over the weekend. I mean, uh, one of my friends mentioned that she's doing something like a cow cards in, the, in her free time and uh, asked if I wanted to join. And of course, once I learned what cacao cards are, something like a trading card games between artists, in which case they actually just trade in the pictures with each other. But I had to make like a Pokemon card. I had to. I, I had to. I'm even going to show my one. I, just, I mean, if I could turn myself into a freaking Pokemon card, then of course I'm going to turn myself into a freaking Pokemon card, right? <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, it was a lot of fun. I got a bit distracted. I'm, I'm pretty sure Nico doesn't mind that, right? After all, considering how she was already ready to throw five waves. A rose banner off the skies at me. I'm pretty sure she doesn't mind to wait around here for a couple of hours, days. Not entirely sure if the time even flows if I'm not playing in this game. Probably not. Probably not. At the very least, I hope it isn't, because that would be mind numbing. I mean, think about it. The mind games that they were playing with each other when staring into each other's eyes because none of them are moving an inch because they aren't able or aren't allowed to fight against each other at this point of time. The nerves of them, they must be stretched to oblivion. <laughs> so yeah, okay, without any further ado, let us jump right in there and see for ourselves if Nico is finally going to show up. Probably not because there isn't a book around, but we can at least hope, right? We can at least hope. Okay, are there any new Rose Banner guys around? Except, of course, the Mussault one and the, the Scarf guys. Doesn't really seem like it. Oh well, let's do this really quickly. Okay! Nico! I didn't expect the that. I thought you would actually appear with a book, but I guess uh, you changed your mind, huh? You actually managed to change your mind. That's good. That is very good. Uh, you aren't quite there to go for a rampage yet, but you can go for the green one first. After all, we already have a triple green resonance going on around here. Can I go higher than this? Does it really look like it? Nope, I have to go for double blue. I have to go for the paralysis. Nico's going to get the free stuff. I mean, technically speaking, it's just a tremor. It's not so bad. It could be worse, but it isn't so bad. At the very least, she isn't using anything that actually boosts up her stats, right? 
the very least we have that, but we have to worry a little bit about the fact that she's going to inflict some tremor on her. If she tries to burst the tremor on my Rodeon, it could do some serious damage, but it's gonna be fine, right? It's gonna be fine. Oh god, it's already four tremor. Great, this guy is already up to 19, 20, 29, 30, 8. Ah, sometimes I love it. Sometimes I really love it. Okay, that's a free hit. Double free hit. Suppression. I think she got a hit this time around. I probably should save that for something else. Yeah, we're going to save that for the next round. Rodion is having some difficulties around here. Let's go for the defense. Going first. It has to work so that we get a 8 haste, hopefully. Mm, I don't want to waste more bullets on that guy. I guess we're going to go for the 5 uh, green. Yeah, 5 resonance for green. Should be good enough. Okay, the first guy is already down. Hopefully Rodion isn't going to get any damage this round, so that we can make full use of- Oh, thank you for the defense down. That is certainly going to be helpful. Who knows? Maybe? Ah, well, never mind. Rodion is already going for the defense skill instead. I should have saw that earlier. But because technically speaking, if I give her early paralysis, it's certainly going to be helpful for her. In order to ensure that she isn't able to win what any of her her clashes, right? But it's always a bit tricky to tell because once an enemy is dead, they change uh, their targets. What like in an abnormality battle where the attack is completely cancelled. And yes, it works! It works! Double rampage! And suppression! And an ego because we have it! And this is free. This is free as well. I guess we could technically- Ah, she doesn't have a tremor. But then again... Ah, it's a blue attack, right? Yeah, it's a blue attack that uh, actually counts on that. We're going to save the green for the next round. Probably is good enough. Mm, should I go for dark blue? How much ammunition? Five. Have to go for green, double green, and then we can go for dark blue. That is if she's even able to survive. I mean, Honglu is able to do a lot of damage right now. He has all the speed in the world. Gets three out of four head tosses. <laughs> recovers his HP and slashes her to bits. Oh yeah. <laughs> Honglu Hong can be really, really strong. As long as we are able to keep up with his speed, right? He needs to have 8 speed. That's the thing. He needs to rely on his speed. Otherwise, his attack isn't really against, uh, that strong, right? <laughs> Thank you, Honglu. Ow! The red line. And now it's just a book. If only I knew that before! I could have just waited a couple of hours and then... I really thought that I would need 40 points. <laughs> I really thought that I would need 40 points, but I guess it's not quite necessary. Okay, what's this about the red line? Now that the Rose Banner workshop fixes are defeated, it's time to question Jorini. She stands still and watches the situation unfold without a hint of a panic. Why are you so calm? Alright then. Care to give us an explanation, Shirini? Shirini blankly looks at Dong Ren, her face wooden, as if she had forgotten how to make an expression. Since when did you join that side? You really are something, huh? You don't even act surprised. <sighs> Employees that can be brought back to life without an ample, huh? This wasn't in a plan. It's not fair. When I asked you why you volunteered to follow me at the laboratory, you told me this. Three of my co-workers died. Five of us died in that attack. Three the numbers of casualties the Technology Librarian Alliance suffered. And I had checked your network history too. You did what? Are you allowed to do that? 
So they keep telling you it takes a full day and the night after to name all the benefits of the best employee. Full access to everything, huh? Full access to everything, because you are so good, they don't mind you snooping around. It's one of the boons, you should have, you should have looked into that, <laughs> That stupid best trip thing again. I saw that you exchanged ton of mails with Ren, even after she has left. What was it about? You wouldn't reply to a single one that I sent, asking to go grab a coffee together. I do suppose you respected Ren a lot, ever since you joined. Even your password was set to miss you, Ren. How about that, wait, you... Even your password was about Ren? Wait, is this all true? I don't understand. Kcop's research institution are the best workspace you could ask for as a scientist. It's a stable job, cares about the employees' well-being, and has the limelight of the academy. But why would you turn your back on it and collude with those terrorists? I saw you as a researcher with a promising future as well. You had a long way to go compared to Mr. Dorang, but still... Yeah, Sharini. Why don't you say it yourself? Why did you decide to collude with them? Um... The tears wouldn't stop. You? You know what that means, right? I... What? We couldn't hear the rest of what Chirini tried to say. At first it looked like a thin red line was drawn on her body. Then we realized it wasn't just a line. Oh god! Hey, Sharini? Oh! What was that about? Why am I so close to her? Even have you handled it the sword already? Cut clean in half. Fluid splashed from several hemispheres of her brain as if to convey that regeneration amples wouldn't heal this. <laughs> Shut your mouth and keep still. Don't even breathe. What? The people who slew Sharini along with the wall behind her without letting even the footsteps be heard were... Oh, it wasn't Rodion. Or rather Ryoshu. Now I even mixed him up right here. Huh? Ishmael? Was there somebody? Fixers in only treating shadows. I give you the honor of being called Fitz. Huh? Fixers who work like that would belong to the Sheer Association. Oh. An association of fixers that exclusively take assassination requests. They most likely aren't one we could easily fight and defeat. It depends on how much they were paid and what sections are they from. But in this case, seeing that only Ryosha was able to pick up hints of their presence, we most certainly won't be amateurs from Sector 5 and 6. Is that the reason why she stepped up? In order to prevent their attacks towards us? Oh! And that is why she told us not to move an inch so that the... The other group isn't agitated by us. Oh god. <laughs> he listens in. He is quite done yet. He's still here to check. <laughs> um, Miss Sherini, why? <laughs> Gone already. Ryosha clicked her tongue and complained about the assassin's retreat. Even though I couldn't hear or see them at all. I guess she kind of wanted to fight against that guy. How ridiculous! Torn by inner conflicts? Senior researcher Ren was Shirini's mentor when she first joined the firm. It looks like their bond lasts much longer than I thought. You see, Dante? We were peers working for the same firm. And there's still collision and fraternity. Betrayal, divisions, carnivals. It happens in any group of people. I guess it's an inescapable cycle. Um, not really sure that there's a point in telling you this. Say, how much do you trust your sinners? I'm sorry, what? You know virtually nothing about them, do you? Much like how I 
couldn't know everything about Cherini. Am I wrong? You don't even know which is the one that has history with me. The one that has history with you, you say? Just happened. Whoa! Whoa! Did the game glitch out? <laughs> Did the game glitch out at me? Whoa! Ah! Huh? Shrini! <laughs> Wait a second, weird things are going on. Come on. What was that about? Literally, what was that about? Huh? It actually got bugged for a second. It actually got bugged. Okay, and it seems like there's another event, the reunion, right after that. Which type of reunion are we talking about? Hopefully not with the assassin. That weirded me out though. That was really, really strange. <clears throat> um, assassin claimed Torini's life. Dong Rang didn't appear too shocked by her deaths, even though they joined the wing at the same time. He says internal conflict is like a cycle of some kind. How much trust do I have in the sinners? And how much trust do they have in me? With questions I won't be able to answer, we head for the place where the golden barrow resonates. Ah, so we already go for the barrow. But those questions... Don't I need to answer those questions? I guess not. At least not now. Uh, looks like we're almost there. I can sense the golden barrow resonating nearby. Um, it appears we are nearing the target's location. Oh, that's good. The photos and awards that I left should still be here. Classified research, dude! Make research documents as well, Mr. Dorang. True. Mm. Yiseng picked up an ample Shirini dropped on the floor and carefully examines it. How kind of you. You didn't have to pick it up. It's the same. This regeneration ample. Its number bits by the same rule as the decay ample that was forcefully administered to Miss Ishmael in the earlier scuffle between K Corps brawlers and invading machines. That's what's called a serial code. It's a unique string of numbers to categorize amples. One that starts with O. Uh, original. Uh, wait, why am I even explaining this again? I mean, he, he kind of asked for it. Original. Identical to the decay ample injected to Miss Ishmael. So it suggested that its essence was no different from that one of the regenerative amples. This series of generative amples, well, how do I say it? It's an undiluted solution. It's not exactly like the commercially available one. What are you thinking of right now? Nothing. When did you first recognize me? Since you showed us the chicken in captivity. It would have sufficed to give your visitors a cursory tour, yet you insisted on showing your personal laboratory. You're right. I don't know about the others, but I wanted you to see the demonstrational proof of my success. I am still sad though. You probably had plenty of time to express your joy of reuniting with this old friend of yours. They were friends? At one point of time? Let's see. Is that why you guys were staring into each other's eyes multiple times and looked away as well? Uh, should I have picked up on that too? I guess the banner could have also been a clue about that. Ah, it could have been a clue about that. <laughs> Which means the next chapter is probably all about Ishmael, huh? Maybe. Can't tell. It is my fault that I no longer have companions by my side. You haven't changed, you know? You've always enjoyed keeping precious things in bottles and watching them. And you were intended on releasing and showing them. This thou said companion? I must say, you saying many reunions with thy companion do await thee in this journey. And in the expectations past the, uh, the one wearing uh, a tinted airwear that confront thee as well. Tinted eyewear? Ah, 
Do you mean the bug then as well, though? Do you mean the thing that happened to the... That wasn't a choice uh, meeting, though. That was... Didn't he almost... Didn't they almost kill us back there? Ha. Huh. Need to watch that again. <laughs> I really need to watch that again. <laughs> ah. So you already had a reunion to celebrate. No wonder you're being so detached with me. How troubling for you, though. Looks like there'll be another you have to face. And what do you mean with that? I thought everyone had made their escape thanks to Shrini snitching. But I suppose it wasn't the case. Someone walked in, exuding a suffocating thick scent of flowers. Holding a bright golden branch in her hand, an object now familiar to me. She had a worn monochrome photograph in her other hand. It's a fine photograph. Only one of the shot remains in this world now. <sighs> so many old friends. And not one to greet me with the light. Won't you give that picture back to me? It may not look like it, but it's actually a shared tr treasure of mine. Mr. Dongreng, you shouldn't get close to her. It's dangerous. All troops, do not carelessly approach her. The Golden Barrow may be destroyed. I agree with it. Faust will come up with a way to retrieve it in no time. <sighs> Why do we keep running into problems that a good pumbling can solve? This is really infuriating. Everyone yelled and shouts with their own goal in mind. Regardless of the notion, the person of the Golden Barrow steadily walked this way. However, instead of going for the rank, what? Why my guy? Why <laughs> my guy? <laughs> that piquant and fragment smell made me feel as though the ground was sinking. Huh? She plunged the golden barrow in her hand into Yi Seng's chest. Yi Seng collapsed on the ground. I didn't think you would end up choosing him before my eyes. What? Yi Seng? You can have this back. A photograph is nothing more than a taxi determined moment. Even with drenched in blood, the golden barrow still glows. Contrary to the golden dazzle, the faded monochrome photograph slowly falls to the ground. Who are those people? Ah, yeah, yeah, that's the guy. That was the guy from the photo, right? Uh, not, not the photo, what am I saying? Uh, from the bug nest. With the sunglasses. I think. The others don't have a face, so it has to be that guy. And that must be the ring, that he sang, and. Uh, no idea who that is. But I guess there are more people around, and that's supposed to be the big chef of them all, probably. At least he looks very important. Okay. And we're going right back to the hole, huh? Right back to the wounds. But I would almost say, yeah, I have to make a cut right here. After all, this is already a part that has already started a couple of days ago, so I'm not entirely sure how much time I actually have left to fill. So I would say, since I still have like 90 energy points left, I'm probably, probably going to make another part for this week. After all, come on, I just came back to the game. I could just leave it like that, right? <laughs> Especially after she stabbed my boy, my crow boy, out of nowhere. I have to see more into that, right? Totally. Anyways, um, I hope you guys had fun in today's part. And see you next Monday. Until then, bye-bye.